Good morning, retail traders. This is the Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy, preparing for the year of 2023. Subscribe and ring that bell if you like. But what is the 2023 calendar going to look like? I think it's going to be quite a bit the same, although we are going to have a new control in Congress. But I don't think that's going to matter much, as long as the feds are still doing their thing. So once they start to ease off and we start to hear a little bit more positivity out of the uh, feds, I did not like the last speech he gave. I did not like it at all. I thought it was very negative going into 2023. So I think we're still going to be doing the same. Any kind of bounce might be playing the pullback. And any kind of pullback, I might be playing the bounce, especially after a three to five day dip. I definitely will be getting ready to play calls. So we're going to go over a few tickers, just kind of what I'm going to be watching for next year. And the first one's definitely going to be Tesla. It's definitely at an oversold area, but the sentiment is still bad. The sentiment, you know, on the, on the stock. So we're going to definitely look at the weekly or the yearly. And we're definitely, this sell-off's just been way overdone. For Tesla but you know you can't argue with the fat cats and all the negativity that's going on around Elon which I don't see much wrong with it at all but you can't fight them so we look at the weekly and my last support level was right up here above this here Darvis box and we definitely broke down and broke below it so the next possible support is going to be right here at 111.29 and that's going to be right in here, right around that vicinity. I want to make sure I got my right thing up here. So definitely into the next Darvis box. And we could go sideways a little bit on it. We've got two major pullback weeks here on the candlesticks. So if we pull back a little bit more, maybe to that 110 area, 111, we're going to see if we can bounce off that a little bit. If not, the next support is going to be down at the bottom of that monthly Darvis box, which is right around. Oh, that's the wrong spot. We're going to erase that. I hate to see this thing go below $100, but that can happen. The bears are definitely, you can't fight the bears on this one here. If we see Elon starting to buy back some shares, I think that'll be a good positive catalyst for it. He's definitely going to step down as CEO and put someone else in the ranks, which I think is a good idea. He probably needs to button down on his tweets. Because, you know, 110, 111 is the next support level on this one right here. And that's into this next Darvis box. But I'd watch it on a daily basis. We are at oversold area, and it could be scalpable. We definitely had a pullback right here. I'll be playing off breaking out of these moving averages that I play off of. And the next resistance to break is going to be right around 121.04, which was Friday's low, right in here at 121.02. So that's Tesla. That would be one definitely on my watch list this year. I'll be watching anything that has cash. You know, like Meta will be on my watch list to trade. We definitely had a pop-up on this one here. We did call the bottom on it, or at least a temporary bottom. We've had some higher lows. We're starting to squeeze into a symmetrical flag, so this thing's either going to break out today or pull back and that low support I think that we need to keep an eye open on is right around 115 and I'm going to turn that into a red line but definitely you want to watch companies that, that have cash and it can play around for the first quarter second quarter into 2023 I've been scalping this trade I like the pullbacks on it and then catching it the next day it seems like it has a pullback and runs pullback run pullback run pull back run pull back run so if this thing pulls back to this lower support your first one's going to be right here at 115.84 i'm just playing off the pre the the pre-day um post-day lows 
is where I'm finding support at on these suckers. And we'll just see if them hold. But Meta is definitely on the watch list. And uh, anything with cash. And we're also going to be looking at oil. Oxy is one that I like to watch. We dipped on down to a big pullback on this one here Thursday. And we bounced up on Friday and hit resistance. So the next resistance level is going to be right up in here. Right around $65 range. Now this... A price target has been lowered by the analyst I think to let me see if they got it in the news here if I remember right $69 and this was by Piper Sandler Sandler so that's right around the 20-day high so if we come down here and we retouch triple bottom on the low maybe hit this uh, shoulder line of this head and shoulders at 6146 that could be a possibility of a good scalp up or a day trade up to the top or at least to the pivot point area on the 20-day chart so oil is definitely on our watch list for the next into next quarter at least and we got MRO we keep this good eye on this one here too I mentioned the $26 level last time that was a double bottom and we did bounce up off that 20 day so see if we could touch a triple bottom somewhere around 20, a little above 26 and break a resistance level of 28.23 and that's MRO. XON is another good one we like to watch. XON or M. Exxon Mobile, we definitely broke out of resistance right here this morning. So this thing could run up to this next Darvis box channel up here. And that resistance to break was, well, I'm going to say right there, 109.46. So the next resistance would be right up here, right around the 111.55 area, somewhere in that vicinity. 111.55, yeah, 111.50. If that doesn't hold, it'll pull back to this next previous high right here. Find support at 108.17. And then always look at it off the 200 SMA on the one hour time frame. So oil is definitely going to be one to watch. And then we're going to have, I'm going to be trading a lot more penny stocks this coming year. We've got uh, also health care that you want to keep a good eye on. So bio and health care. Is definitely going to be one that's going to be on the watch list into 2023 and I'm going to be playing off the 200 SMA on the one hour time frame as a pivot point in the chart so if we bounce up and break resistance today of 515 or if it does break resistance of 515 I'm going to take it try to take it up to the 200 SMA so any of your favorite healthcare stocks and bio stocks will be on watch and that's going to be it. Just keep a good eye on 2023, and we'll see how it goes. But I'm thinking of the same kind of thing we're going to have this year as we had last year. But we're going to try to find a, a landing somewhere and just play the in and outs until the feds start to relax a little bit. I wish everybody a great day. This is the Sneaky Snake Strategy. Create a watch list. I'll be working on a watch list and be putting out a video for 2023 of my favorite tickers into 2023. And it will be a top 10 watch list. So be sure to stay in tune, subscribe, and ring that bell and you'll get that notification. Retail traders, have a great day and hope you had a happy holiday with family and friends.